Hello, math friends. Today we're talking about area. My friend Abby just found out that she gets to take the baby's room all to herself. I get to do what? You get to have the baby's room all to yourself. Woohoo! Yes, I know, it's very exciting. So Abby's going to want to decorate this room and paint the walls. But to paint the wall, we need to know the area of the wall so we know how much paint we need. What is area? Area is the number of square units needed to cover a two-dimensional space. And it's the kind of information you might want if you're painting walls or tiling floors and so on. So what if we took that wall and chopped it into equal-sized squares and then see if we can find the total number of squares? Now you might remember when we did arrays that we found out how many rows we had and how many columns we had, and then we could find by adding how many squares we have in all. So there'd be 10 in the first row, 10 in the next row, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. We'd know we have 70 squares. Well, in painting a wall, 70 squares isn't super helpful. But if we know the actual dimensions of the wall, like 7 feet and 10 feet, and then we know that each square is one square foot, then we would know that that 70 squares is really 70 square feet. And that's useful information. But maybe we don't want to add all the time, adding, adding, adding. Do you remember that there was another way to find the total number of objects when you knew the number of rows and the number of columns? I'll help you remember, we multiplied. So we can still do that. We're just multiplying seven feet by 10 feet. So we discover that we indeed have 70 square feet. Now Abby can take that wall and paint it with clouds or an ocean or lion heads. I don't know. Have a good time, Abby. We're going to keep practicing area. Here we have several rugs, and they're different sizes. And we want to know which ones have an area of 24 square feet. So if we look at this first one, and we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this side is 5 feet, and this top is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, also 5 feet. Well, as we've just learned, we could multiply to find area. So 5 times 5 is 25, not 24. So this guy is not going to be one of our answers. Let's look at this other one, 1, 2, 3, 4 feet, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 feet. Well, this is looking more correct, right? because 4 feet times 6 feet is 24 square feet. So this one matches. Okay, let's check these last couple here. I have 1, 2, 3, and then across the top, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3 times 7 is 21. This one is not correct. And lastly, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 3 feet times 8 feet is 24 square feet, so I have two rugs that match my answer. Let's try another one. Okay, we have a tiled floor here. Each little tile is a square foot, and we want to know which of these expressions can be used to find the area. Well, we've talked about two ways. One is repeated addition, so if I count here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I have 7 squares across, so if each row is 7, I can add 7 four times. And we've talked about how that works, so this one is okay. The other option was to use multiplication. I have 7 squares across the top and 4 along the side, so then I can do 4 feet times 7 feet. And this one is also an option. I don't know what these other ones are, but they don't work. Let's try one more. Carmen's putting these two desks together. We want to know the total area of the desktops. So I think the easiest thing to do would be to break these into two rectangles. Then we can apply what we've just learned, right? This one will be 2 feet times 4 feet. So the desktop here is 8 square feet. And then over here, I have 3 feet times 6 feet which is 18 square feet. Okay, so now I have the desktop areas for both desks, so how am I going to find a total? Well, like we usually do, we can add to find this total. So 18 square feet plus 8 square feet 
gives me a total of 26 square feet. Excellent job, area experts. Now it's your turn.